Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in today's video let's check out the camera performance of the cameras found on the Lamax 2. So this is being recorded via the front facing camera of uh, the Lamax 2, the 8 megapixel front facing shooter and the audio is also coming from the inbuilt microphone. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the 21 megapixel rear camera. Under well lit conditions, the camera performance is excellent. The shutter response is fast, the images have a ton of detail. Like in this case, check out the cracks on the wall at 100% crop. The software processing is also great with no signs of over sharpening or smudging of the image. Very natural, good stuff. The color reproduction is true to life and the exposure is also spot on. With an aperture of f by 2.0, this camera does produce a good level of bokeh. Not the best in class but good enough to shoot nice macros with out of focus backgrounds. The dynamic range is also decent. Under artificial lighting, this camera continues to perform well. Zoomed in, you can notice a bit of noise creeping in, but it is par for the course for a smartphone camera. Under low light, the Lumax 2 continues to impress. The images are decent, not too much noise, good job overall. That's a shot of a lightning by the way. I had to go out and shoot all this in the rain and almost ended up dropping the phone a couple of times. This is 4K footage being shot by the Lamax 2. So I might be downscaling it, but this is the footage itself and the audio is also being recorded via the internal microphone. So this audio is being recorded via my Zoom 86. The footage is crisp, the frame rate stable. I'm liking most of what I see. What I do dislike is the fact that the Laico autofocus bug from the 1S returns. With the default camera app while recording video, there is no continuous autofocus, you need to tap to focus. There is no option to enable it and once you stop recording you can see that the camera is capable of continuous autofocus. And again that's reiterated when you use a third party app. There is no issue with video recording, continuous autofocus works fine. So I'm not gonna really call this a negative but I'd be very happy to see Leiko fix this soon. You can also shoot 720p, 120fps slow motion video, that's a 4x slowdown but the quality is not good at all. The 8 megapixel front facing camera does a great job, it retains a lot of detail, it's competent even under low light. What is weird is the fact that it shoots only 720p videos. This is again something that can be addressed by using a third party app. Now despite the few software issues, I feel Leica has done a decent job overall with the cameras on the Lumax 2. So hopefully they can address the few issues that I pointed out in this video via a software update soon. So I guess that's it for today's video. Hope you found it useful. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, okay. if you didn't put it down. Uh, if you have anything more to say, constructive criticism perhaps, hit me up in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already, more coverage of the Lumax 2 and other the eco phones coming soon. So if you do want to help the channel out, consider changing a flip card or Amazon bookmarks to ones with the affiliate ID. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4 Retech, signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.